Welcome to Channel 19 Colonial News. Today we have two reporters in the hallways of Freelboro High School to quiz real freshmen on their knowledge of the most commonly defied school rules. Now, let's cut to our field reporters, Zach and Henry. Thank you, Krista. Okay, so for our first segment, we're going to be talking about the use of earbuds or headphones in school. This is the media center. I'm sure we'll be able to find some kids in here. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. What's up? Hi, um, I'm actually with a news station. We're covering a story about kids' knowledge on the handbook. Do you happen to know what the rules are concerning earbuds? Yeah, you just put them in whenever you feel like it, whenever you really want to listen to music. There's no rules? You can just listen to them whenever? No, you can just throw them in whenever you want. Like right now, I'm looking for a bug. Yeah. Alright, that sounds pretty cool. Let's ask this kid. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Do you happen to know what the uh, proper rules are for headphone usage? Uh, yeah. Don't you wear it uh, before and after school? That's correct. And now we'll be entering the main gym of Freehold Borough to see what's going on there. Did it? So guys, uh, I see you guys are holding jugs there. Um, yeah. what's, the, what's the meaning of this? Well, you know, after a long math test, I need this water. Like, I need it. It's Wait. the best mug. Well, oh. I guess that's... What was the question? Are jugs, are school, are water jugs appropriate for school? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Like, it's water. Why would it not be? But uh, is, it, is it necessary for a gallon of water? Uh, yes. You, uh, you tell me. Yeah, I don't it's know. just water. Like, yeah. What? It's, just, it's not water. soda. Blast. Cheers. 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 Yeah. Ladies. Okay. Um, I don't think that's correct. Well, here, here we have a young studious person who knows the correct answer. <laughs> This is the correct size water bottle for school. Yeah, like you can fill them up easily every class. My teachers let me all the time. And there you have it. Students in Freehold Borough are often confused about the cell phone rules. This looks like trouble. Oh my god, look who just that told me. Are you guys kidding me? You shouldn't be on your phones. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm just curious. Why shouldn't those girls be on their phones? Well, you're never supposed to be on your phone in the hallway. You're only supposed to use your cell phone if you're in the classroom and your teacher gives you permission for only educational purposes. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there a school policy for food here in Freehold Borough? No. Well, no. I mean, if you're hungry, you can eat. Um, you should not eat in class. You shouldn't be eating in class, especially in a computer room. There you have it. I notice you guys are wearing quite a few backpacks. Are those fashion or function? They're oh, yeah. sweet. They're sweet, sweet, man. You see this? So, sweet. So you would say fashion? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Now, does the borough have any policy on backpacks? I don't think so. No. 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 no, you can just yeah, wherever, you just, wherever you want. Roll around play Whenever it is. That sounds yeah. pretty cool. All right. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. Right. Have a good day. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Here comes a few more students. Let me ask them. Hello. Excuse hey. me, I see you guys have some backpacks on. Are those more for function or fashion? Definitely function. Function. Now, would you say that the borough has a policy on backpacks? Yes. Yeah, we, uh, we bring them to school with our books, and we put our books in our lockers, and then we leave our backpacks in yeah. our lockers, because you're not allowed to have them during school hours. If you do have them, then they just make the hallway a big mess. People Such will be walking around, like, we, have, we can help see how much room that takes up. So you know we'll be able to walk. And that's why we yeah. have... Yeah. Okay, you guys seem like uh, very, very studious. You guys seem like you get good grades. So why don't you, uh, keep, keep doing your thing. Thank you. In front of Freehold's Memorial Garden, we have two ladies um, representing proper dress code. So, for our upcoming freshmen, what would you say would be proper dress code for them? Well, I mean, you definitely want to have fingertip length shorts, and you don't want to be showing your stomach or midsection. And you? And it does get hot in the summer, so you want to make sure that your straps are more than two fingers and everything is covered. So, uh, what's up guys, um, could you tell us what you would recommend for our upcoming freshmen for next year on proper dress code? Um, I'd say wear shorts as short as possible, you know, you want to stay cool when it's hot out. And I mean, as long as like, none of this shows, you can just cut your shirts as short as you want, it doesn't really matter, as long as you stay cool. And you? Yeah, uh, bathing suits are nice too because it gets really hot and you start to sweat and you don't want like sweat stains in your clothes, so just wear bathing suits, I mean, that's what they're for, so. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Are you uh, late right now? Yeah. Does anything happen when you're late? Nah, you should get here when you get here. 
Hey Ian, I'll see you in detention tomorrow. Detention bro. squad, was good. Uh, what, what happens when you're actually late? Well, stays in detention every single day after school. So. It's not that bad. Yeah. We're all done here. Back to you, Kristen. Thanks, Zach and Henry. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that little glimpse into life here at the borough. We can't wait to see you all in the fall.